Okay guys, so last time we had help con Kasumi. Um. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that, but I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay. So, Hadley, how are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pout. I win. Joker. Right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Okay, let's actually go see Jacob. Oh, we were getting better at weapons. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, so nothing else from Jacob. Actually, I should check our research. Nothing there. I don't remember, did I do it last time or not, but... Eh. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Okay, we're here. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll take your... Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Okay. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. 
Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Tell me more about this. Respected re model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers. Brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectre similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I worked with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. Hm. Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Okay. Engineering. I just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. Ship. Gun. Okay. Let's go crew quarters. I don't have many. People still visit yet, but... People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Oh, red or blue? painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. The Red Rose. That 
used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Okay, so not bad. That's my favorite piece. Painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, <coughs> the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Okay, men's washroom. Oh, I do need to visit him because we'll get the action then. Commander, here. what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well. And the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Oh, shipping. That's under ship. A fence. Meryl. Okay, we'll take that. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Did I already do this? I think, uh... What kind of resources does Cerberus... We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone other than the elusive man knows exactly how well. But our resources aren't unlimited. Reviving you and rebuilding the Normandy was a significant investment. And a significant risk. We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Tell me about yourself. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Just in well, case I have a Well, you should probably this. know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... Abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. I think I already talked to her, but I might be wrong. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Shepard, need me for something? What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. 
hot unless we upgrade the guns. Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Okay, ship enhancement. Cerberus crewman giving you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at Seaside would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties, okay. that was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. But you know more. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. Okay, cool. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. You sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Okay, well, we got a little bit more up. Cooper, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Okay, who do I go, where do I go next? 
got to make a choice where I go next. Oh, did I check my messages? Uh, received AOL. Well. He died keeping the information out of hand. I think maybe I did read them, but I don't know I remember the heck of it. Oh, that was the girl uh, from before. Most of them were thank yous. Okay. Let's leave. Oh, actually. Can I make it? It's going to be close. How about we do... Warlord. Okay. Actually, we're going to just take a look. Again, I forgot it's that you can't press escape like Mass Effect 1. It usually takes me a couple times to remember. No anomaly. Anomaly. Okay, we'll go refill on fuel. Fuel at one half capacity. This one has a few more plants, so... No. Alright, day again. I gotta stop doing present escape. Use mouth only. Use mouth only. Use mouth only. I thought I might have 
definitely there, but I guess not. There we go. Okay. Negotiating bonus. I don't care about negotiating. I like how storm speed health. Increase um, shield, increase that. Storm speed, decrease shield. Uh, you know what? For now, we'll take this one. And we'll take you and take you. Oh, it's this mission. Navigation VA sensors on a fly life support shield something happened. Hundred and eighty max one heavy mech. Okay. I just heard you click. Where are you?
square. do my own type so non increase health by five five another five percent increase headshot damage just ha increase shield strength by five Increase power damage by five. Oh, weapon, but I don't like the hood. Reduce delay of shield. No. Increase health by five. Increase malik meek damage. Increase power damage. Increase health health by ten. That's good. Only by five. What the hell? That, that looks like Jason. Five. Increase <laughs> no. That looks cool. Both and health and shields in five. I might come back that one. Only five. Increase five. Reduce delay. Nothing. Increase headshot damage. Increase weapon damage by 10. Ooh, I might. Power damage by 5. Both shields and 5. Nothing. Increase health by 5. 5%. Ooh. 
increased shield by weapon damage and headshot. That looks cool. I'm going to probably do that. Uh, weapon damage and ammo. Bonuses, power. I don't want storm speed. I want shields and health. Regenerate. That looks cool. 10 to health, 10 to shields. 10 to power. No. Where'd legs go? Spare now. Chris Shields. Shield delay. Grease. This way I might come back. That that looks good. No, don't want storm speed, but I like the health. <laughs> I want more health and shields. That's tech in. That one's not too bad, but. By five, increase health by ten, increase one. Oh, that one looks good. Heavy. Ooh. Both by five. No, that has shield armor, but it does look cool. Spare ammo, ten. Nope. Heavy. Okay, that's not bad, definitely. Someone did the really a lot of mods. She don't play fine. Where was it? Not that one. Yep, so we'll take that one. Increase weapon damage, none. So I have to have that thing with. Okay, and then legs. Increase shield strength. Increase storm speed. Increase health, yep. Look like uh, we got that. Just going to pause for a sec, guys. Um, I'm just going to go to Gelman's room and I'll be back. Sorry, I, I accidentally went to press record and hit escape. My the dossier doesn't say if Okir is on this planet by choice. Assume hostiles. There is only one measure of success. Kill or be killed. Loudspeakers. 
Someone likes the sound of their voice. Stay focused. We're looking for a Krogan warlord. And they know we're here. application of metagel ready to go but if you'd rather i just keep walking son of a bitch I, I just i don't know anything i just shoot the overflow from the labs the old krogan up there he, he's really been cleaning house lately jador hired him to make her an army but the krogan he creates are insane so we use them for live ammo training it's all crap i don't get paid enough to goddamn plead out outpost four jador wants us to move we need coordinates on that krogan pack What's he talking about? Jador runs a, a Blue Sun's outlier, and she's making Krogan for an army. But they all come out crazy, tough as hell, but just insane. Stupid. You could hire an army of mercs for cheaper than that. I don't know. I, I just point and shoot and bank my credits. Maybe there's something better in the labs. I want your friends gone. Understand? Uh, patrol? The last group dispersed. Lost sight five minutes ago. Dispersed? Jador will be pissed. She wanted a show. You asked for a report, you got it. Dispersed. Understood. Returning to the labs. There. You see? I'm helping. Have you seen Okir? Does he know about all this? We can't go in the labs. But everyone sees what happens when the Krogan come out. I've shot hundreds. They're crazy. Mindless. Anyone up there, they know what's going on. What is Jador planning to do with all these Krogan? Replace us, probably. I sure wouldn't want to see an army of them coming at me. Only she can't control them. They aren't supposed to be crazy, but they're Krogan. How smart are they to start? Is Jador's lab heavily guarded? There are big guns to keep ships away. We're not outfitted to fight goddamn commandos. Okay, so... If you start limping now, you might find a shady spot before you bleed out. Oh. He just about pissed himself. Some people need a heavy hand. Come on, our warlord is somewhere in Jador's lab. I took too heavy here.
seven night cycles, and I have felt only the need to kill. But you... Something makes me speak. Night cycles? Seven days? They must breed them full size, ready to kill. Not much improvement over regular mercs if they need training. Bread... to kill? No. I kill because my blood and bone tell me to. But it's not why I was flushed from Glass Mother. Survival is what I hear in my head. Against the enemy that threatens all my kind. But I failed, even before waking. That is what the voice in the water said. That is why I wait here. You're supposed to be part of a mercenary army. Do you remember Jador? I know that name. It causes anger, but also laughter. It is not a name that will be sung when we march. I don't know what that means, but I have heard it many times. How can you speak if you're only a week old? There was a scratching sound in my head, and it became the voice. It taught things I would need. Walking, talking, hitting, shooting. Then the voice said I was not perfect, and the teaching stopped. And now I am here. It was taught enough to be judged. I still don't know what the goal was, though. I don't know, but I am not perfect. Okir's voice? Did he speak to you while you were in your tank? I heard the voice. Not like now, with ears. Inside. I called it Father. It liked that. But it was disappointed. I am not what it needs me to be. A lab with Krogans. Sounds like an attempt to cure the genophage. Cure? Cure was never whispered. Survive, resist, ignore. How did you disappoint the voice? I don't know. It was decided before I left Tank Mother. I was not perfect. He was grown in a tank. It's probably crazy, like that Merc said. I don't know of that, but I'm not perfect. I destroyed Saren's cure. How does Okir expect these Krogan to ignore the genophage if not by curing it? No idea. Doesn't look like he's had much success so far. Can you show me the laboratory? I need to speak with Okir. The... Glass Mother. She is up, past the broken parts, behind many of you fleshy things. I will show you. Krogan's are strong. We get it. Wanna come with us? Why don't you come with us? We got you space. fleshy things are slow when big things are in your way. Can you show us the way? Help us fight to the lab. No. A Krogan refusing to fight? I will fight if they come, but I feel it deep that I must wait. I kill, but only here. I am not perfect, but I have purpose. I must wait until called. Released. Okay, well... Not a lot of room to maneuver. Stay sharp. Get loose! Run for your damn life! They're all... Uh, uh. Uh. I need some ammo, sir.
Come on. Incoming progress. Why is my mouse acting up now? Come on. Yeah, for some reason it's not working properly. I don't know. I'll take it. What's only a twenty dollar mouse when I bought it like four years ago, five years ago, so it might be just died. Okay. There's a dead dog. Six coffee, goddammit! Where's the door in her personal guard? Hmm. Big power cell. This should come in handy. Sniper rifle damage. I'm going! I've been oh, spotted. Boy. On my way. Why you jump over the barrier? Like, come on. Use your brain, Garrus. Ah! 
have more money, but I'm not worried about money. I want more points. I got enough money for that. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, Ranathanoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab? Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here, strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip, but Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. What is Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. That's gonna bite you in the ass, Sunday. Okay. Anything there? Anything there? I'm not working for 4,000. Here you are. I've watched your progress. There's always... yeah. There we go. Unlocked. This might be useful. Croaking. about time. The batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. 
I take it you're Oak here. You don't seem particularly caged or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but a formerly deceased shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Traitor, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider. One that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army, but she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about collectors, not your problems. I see. Yes, collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I feel no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. You're just as cruel and manipulative as those who released the genophage on your people. Perhaps. But I will restore the Krogan, and my soldier will not provoke a nuclear response as a cure or horde would. My legacy is perfection, with each pure Krogan reaching higher by standing on our dead. They will exceed, but not forget. What did you get from the Collectors? I need whatever you know about them. They are strange. So isolated, yet very available when your sacrifice is big enough. I gave them Mini Krogan. I may have information for you, but the tech was consumed in my prototype. After I determined how to use it without killing the subjects. The deaths were unfortunate, but I only need one success to start the process. So you don't want to cure the Genophage? Contrary to what survivors claim, the Genophage does not produce strong Krogan. The only quality it filters is the ability to survive the Genophage. For every thousand stillborn, too many weaklings live. Every survivor is branded as precious. That's produced more cuddling than your collective human teats. Oh, I, I say, let us carry the Genophage. Let a thousand die in a clutch. We will defeat it by climbing atop our dead. That is the Krogan way. Okay. Your methods are extreme, but you know how to deconstruct a threat. Will you help us? Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage, but my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. That 
weak will. She'll kill my legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the Collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You could just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. Okay. So let's go. in the brain would save us a lot of headaches. A pure Krogan could pack a hell of a punch. We can always use another heavy hitter. If he'll help. I doubt anyone's asked for his opinion. Normandy, Okir is a no-go, but we have a package that needs retrieval. And he's a big one. Okay. about waking it. Yeah, you've said that a few times now. A normal Krogan is dangerous. This one was created and likely educated by a madman. I see everyone's enjoying the new paperweight. Concerns? We don't know anything about it, Commander. I know. You don't find that interesting? Krogan fight well at close <laughs> quarters. Perhaps awakening him in a confined space wouldn't be prudent. Noted. The cargo hold is safe enough while I decide what to do with him. Okay guys, we're going to call it a day. See you guys next episode.